Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 23 homework. So let's get started. Number one, explain your thinking or use division to answer the following. Okay, so A is 2 a factor of 72. Alright, so right away, we know 2 is a factor because 2 will be divisible. Any number that is even will be divisible by 2. So 2 is a factor of all even numbers. So even numbers end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in their 1's place. So since 72 ends in a 2, that makes this number even, which means it's divisible by 2. So yes, 2 is a factor. Right? Yes. Because... 2 is a factor of all even numbers. Alright, and B says, is 2 a factor of 73? So 73, let's look at the 1's digit. Notice how it's a 3. That means this number 73 is not even. So since it's not even, 2 is not a factor because 2 will only be divisible, um, well, 2 will only be a factor of even numbers. So no, because 3 is odd, and 2 is a factor of only even numbers. All right. And C says, is 3 a factor of 72? Well, let's see. Let's check by doing long division. 72 divided by 3. And if 3 goes in without any remainders, that means it's a factor. Yeah, 3 goes into 7 2 times. Minus 6. Bring down a 2. It's 4. With 0 left over. So we don't have a remainder. So if 3 goes into 72 24 times, which means, yes, 3 is a factor. Yes, because 3 times 24 is 72. And also, a fun fact for if you all know a number, if a number is divisible by 3, what you can do is add up the digits of that number. So we don't have to do that long division, but if we want to look at 72, we can add the digits of 72, which is 7 and 2. 7 plus 2 is 9. And since um, 9 is divisible by 3, because 3 times 3 is 9, then we can automatically know that this number, 72, is divisible by 3. So that's just a fun fact. Alright, D says, is 2 a factor of 60? Alright, 60 ends with the 0, so 60 is an even number. So I guess, because 60 is an even number. Alright, and E says, is 6 a factor of 72? Alright, let's see. 72 divided by 6. 6 goes into 7 one time. Minus 6. Bring another 2. 6 goes into 12 two times. Minus 12, 0. So we don't have a remainder, which means 6 is um, 6 times 12 is 72. So yes, because 6 times 12 equals 72. All right, and F says, is 4 a factor of 60? All right, 60 divided by 4. 4 goes into 6 one time, 2 left over. Bring down the 0, 4 goes into 25 times. So we don't have a remainder, which means 4 is a factor. All right, yes. Because 4 times 15 equals 60. All right, and G says, is 5 a factor of 72? So if you want to know if a number is divisible by 5, the number needs to end, the 1's place needs to be either a 5 or a 0. So 72, the 1's place is a 2. So 2, that's not a 5 or a 0, which means no. 
five is not a factor because numbers divisible by five need to numbers divisible by five needs to and in a zero or a five. All right, H says, is eight a factor of 60? All right, 60 divided by eight. Eight goes into six. Can't go into six, so I move on. Zero. Eight goes into 60 seven times, because eight times seven is 56. Then we have four left over. So seven remainder four. So eight is not a factor because it cannot go into 60 with no remainders. So no, because there's a remainder. All right, next page. Use the associative Associative property to find more factors of 12 and 30. All right, A, we have 12 equals 6 times 2. But now we're breaking it apart. So 6 times 2 is equal to our parentheses. So we're breaking apart 6 and multiplying by 2. So that times 2 stays the same, but we're mixing up the 6. Here in the parentheses, we have blank times 2. So what times two is six? Three times two is six. So in the parentheses over here, we write a three, which means three times two times two. Now three times two is six. So now we have a six going up here. We still have a three here because we still have our two times two. But now think of it as retaining the parentheses and moving it over to the other two numbers. So this still says three, but then now it's three times two times two. And if you do that, that is three times two times two is four. So three times four is 12. That means three and four are also factors of 12. All right, and B, 30 equals blank times five. We know six times five is 30. Now break apart the six. It's 2 times 3 is 6, and then times 5 is 30. Now, if we think of it, we're moving the parentheses over to the next numbers. So it's 2 times 3 times 5, which is 2 times 15, because 3 times 5 is 15. And 2 times 15 is 30. So that means 2 and 15 are also factors. Right, number 3 says, in class we use the associated property to show that when 6 is a factor, then 2 and 3 are factors because 6 equals 2 times 3. Use the fact that 10 equals 5 times 2 to show that 2 and 5 are factors um, of 70, 80, and 90. Alright, so this is kind of like what we just did up here. 70 equals 10 times 7. So that is equal to, first we break apart the 10 because we're trying to prove that five times two, five and two are also factors. 10, we break apart, so five times two, and then times the seven. So we just broke apart the 10. All right, but now we move the parentheses to the, number, to the separate group of numbers. Five, move it over to the two and the seven. Five times two times seven. All right, and now you just do five times, two times seven is 14. So five times 14, and that will give us 70. So this shows that five and two are factors because our answer is equal to 70. All right, 80 equals 10 times eight. That's equal 10, let's break apart 10. That's five times two times eight. Now we move the parentheses over. That's five times two times eight. 
which will give us 5 times 2 times 8 is 16. So we do that 5 times 16, that's 80. So our answers match up, which means 5 and 2 are also factors. All right, and this one, 90 equals 10 times 9. That is 10 is 5 times 2 and then times 9 equals, move the parentheses over, 5 times 2 times 9. That's 5 times, 2 times 9 is 18. So 5 times 18, which is 90. The numbers match up, which means 5 and 2 are also factors. The number 4 says the first statement is false, the second statement is true. Explain why using words, pictures, or numbers. Alright, so it says the first statement, this one is false. If a number has 2 and 6 as factors, then it has um, 12 as a factor. So that's false. But this one is true. If a number has 12 as a factor, then both 2 and 6 are factors. Alright, so by the way, I can think of an example on why the first statement is false. So no, a number 2 and 6 that are factors. So we know 6 has 2 and 6 as a, factors, as a factor because 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 times 1 is 6. So we can write the first one is false because 2 and 6 are factors of 6, but 12 isn't because 12 is too big to go into 6. So that shows that, um, that one's wrong. Now the second one, the second one is oh, true. Because, let's think of an example. 12 as factor. 24 um, is a number that has 12 as a factor. Right, because 24 has 12 as a factor along with 2 and 6 because 2 times 12 is 24, and 6 times 4 is 24. So that's an example to show that the second statement is true. Okay. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!